Morning YouTube. Uh, it is week six of Fitness for Life's training program. I'm gonna get ready to head to the gym right now. Uh, probably have a nice leg day in store as well as it's training day at 24 Hour Fitness. So we'll see what that's about. But let's get there right now. Welcome back guys. So I'm right outside the gym right now, walking into 24 Hour Fitness. Uh, let's go in there, check in, and see what Weston's got for us today. Let's get it guys. All right guys, so now I'm here in the gym, I've checked in, and here's Wesley. Hey. Let me ask, are you on Instagram yet? Almost, I got the cards. <laughs> I got the cards, oh. halfway there, halfway yeah. there. Right? Oh, I guess I'll post one of his cards onto <laughs> Instagram for him when he, until he gets it ready. So. Uh, as I mentioned, probably gonna do some legs today, but it is training day here at 24 yep. Hour Fitness, so I think you're gonna put me through the course, right? Yep, we're gonna go hit the gauntlet. It's gonna be a full body workout. It's gonna be movements he's really good at, so we're gonna be hitting, uh, there's gonna be some battle ropes in there, okay. push-ups, sit-ups, um, some deadlifts, um, some landmine stuff. It's really good workout, man. You're gonna get a push a sled too. It's gonna be a good solid five, eight minutes to get you ready for some legs. Sounds good, yeah. and I think we're gonna do some body comp measurements now, right? Yeah. All right. All right, so we're gonna get to that, then we'll get to the workout, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Have a go. While we for the moment to pass, I want it to start now, start now. I want this feeling to last, keep it alive now, right now. It's been too long.
bracing yourself, catching your breath, and it works every muscle you have. So you'll see where the weaknesses are in your body. You'll also notice where the strengths are too. I feel like uh, the upper body strength, there. Leg strength, good. Core strength, still need some work. Yeah, that's how we do this, right? To get better. But thanks to Wesley for uh, setting me up for this. All right, guys, so it's about a, I'd say, five to seven minute break here. Yep. Catching my breath, letting the muscles cool down just a little, not too much. Don't want to lose too much of it. Uh, coach is running an audible here. Uh, yeah, so we're switching just from squat. I think we're going to do front squats and, and shoulders. We're going to do front squats and the shoulder press. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take two elements from the gauntlet we just did, some straight leg deadlifts with the kettlebell, and landmine squats. So, yeah, we're going to hit those home. Game time. deadlifts and the uh, landmine squats, landmine squats. Uh, man that, that course this, you guys are hearing some music in the background you're hearing some screaming it's bumping here yeah there's some other folks doing the course right now it's actually really fun if you're by a 24-hour fitness I highly recommend if they have a training day you go and try it even if you're not a member you get free for that day get in there so do it challenge yourself and I think that's a great segue to Wesley's words of wisdom turn it over to Wesley so me and him what y'all don't see on cameras we are we always sit in between stuff have little heart to hearts about different things whether it's about what's going on outside of the gym what's going on inside the gym balancing act um, and just in here you're gonna face challenges outside in the real world what's great about the gym and what's great about fitness is it gives you an outlet to channel all of that to make your life better not just in a physical way but as an outlet for those things mm -hmm. and in here today he faced challenges he hit an obstacle that started like wearing on him a little bit but guess what he pushed past it. he gathered his thoughts he thought about it and he pushed through he succeeded and guess what then he did more so when life gets hard you just gotta be tough bend don't break all right absolutely remember it's about physical fitness and mental fitness That's it. Keep both of them. all right good morning guys it's day two of this week's training program I'm heading over to the gym here shortly um in all honesty it took about two two and a half days to recover from uh that that first day's gauntlet on saturday done a lot of cardio on treadmills and bikes since then haven't been really able to do much lifting so assuming today is going to be part of a, a strength training program wanted to rest myself up for this so let's head over to the gym and see what wesley's got for us now all right guys so i'm here in the gym what's happening here with wesley uh wesley instagram not yet <laughs> But you guys, you guys got them here. So uh, now that we're here in the gym, what do you have for us today? It's chest day, chest day. So we're gonna do a lot of pushing movements. We're gonna warm up with some body weight stuff. Um, we're actually gonna do some TRX rows to warm up. Mm. Just hit the back a little bit to get you nice and loose. Okay. Um, we're gonna go heavy today on bench and do a little accessory work, man. We we'll do some dips, that kind of fun stuff. It's right. gonna be good. So it's a chest day. Let's get yeah. to it, guys. Yep. Oh, 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 
So, as you saw there at the end, add a little conditioning. Well, so we did some sprints here. Gonna do two rounds. Awareness kicked into play right there. My body told me, you can do that second one. You're gonna pay for it. So with that, I turn it over to Wesley for Wesley's words of wisdom. Just like he was saying, being self-aware, not just in the gym, but in life. Um, again, me and him always sit here having our great conversations throughout our workouts. And one of the big things we talked about today was that self-awareness, the balancing act as always. Um, when you're in here, it's just building that mind-muscle connection. Um, being aware of what you're doing, listening to your body. If your body's telling you one thing, if your mind's telling you yes, and your body's telling you no, you gotta listen to it. You're gonna gain more out of being in tune with yourself than just trying to push it, push past it. We were talking about how um, during his last fitness journey, when he lost 100 pounds on his own, he was coming in and he was just pushing himself. He was doing heavier weights than we're doing right now, but not seeing or feeling the results he needed to. Now what we've developed and what he's developed on his own too is that self-awareness, listening to your body, taking things the right way, taking a step back when you need to, so in order to not take two steps back later. Yep. So always listen to yourselves. Um, People around you, even though when you step in the gym, you're here for yourself, only focus on yourself. Other people are watching too though. When they see, I get comments on Ali all the time, how hard he's working. Even when it's with me, when he's out, out here on his own, how hard his wife is working. People take note, so always be self-aware guys. You can get your goals. So with that guys, enjoy the rest of your week.